This is not your typical Raspberry Pi camera. Over the years, Raspberry Pi has launched many Raspberry Pi cameras, but none allows using different lenses while having a motorized control for both focus and aperture. In this video, I'll show you the design, assembly, and testing of the camera setup I came up with. So let's take a look at the design. The design is basically the Raspberry Pi HQ camera with a 16mm lens. We have this camera bracket which will hold the HQ camera. It'll hold these two stepper motors which are some 28BYJ48s. It'll hold the 3D printed gear that will drive the lens. It'll also have the front camera cover as well as the driven gears which are a flexible 3D printed material TPU95A so that you can place the the gears over the parts that you want to rotate and have them still provide some grip. To get the SDLs for the 3D printed parts, go ahead and click the link in the description, head over to this section and download the SDL files. I printed all parts for this project with my Elegoo Centauri Carbon and it took me about 5 hours to print all the parts. This serves as an extension kit so that I can connect any HDMI cable and use a receptor on the other end to connect to the Raspberry Pi and extend greater lengths than typical. To create the gear that connects to the stepper motor and the flexible gear that connects to the camera, I use SolidWorks Toolbox for metric spur gears. When designing the gear that connects to the camera, I went ahead and made sure to make it roughly 3% smaller than the outer diameter of the camera such that when I stretch it, it then compresses back again and it has a snug fit to the camera. So I first insert the flexible driven gear for the aperture and then I put the one to control focus. Overall we're at 417 grams which is a bit higher than I wanted to but it's still okay. For my specific use, I will go ahead and extend these cables. And this is what I meant by using the HDMI cable to extend the length. So you put the other end on the Raspberry Pi and now you have a fully extended camera cable. To drive the stepper motors, I'll go ahead and use two ULN 2003s along with an Arduino Uno connected to the respective I.O. pins that I share on the screen. And now we're ready to do our first test. Here we can see how controlling the aperture motor controls how much light goes through the lens and into the sensor. We can close it back up. And then we can use the other motor to control the overall focus. Let's now take a look at the Arduino code that enables us to enter specific input to move the camera to specific aperture and focus. And I'll have the code in my blog post, but if you want a brief explanation, basically we define the two separate motors for focus and aperture. For the aperture, I define a lookup table. This is theta LUT's lookup table. Basically I have the angular values that corresponds to this each aperture value of 1.4, 1.5, all the way to 16. So that's the order. 1.4 is 0 degrees, 16 is 125 degrees under stepper motor, 
and everything in between is just you know whatever the angle value that corresponds to that end value or that aperture value this will just ensure that you provide a value within 1.4 and 16 to avoid anything less than 1.4 or greater than 16. This does a linear mapping, mapping for the focus. Basically on focus, you're going to provide a value between 0 and 100% for focus from near sighted to all the way infinity. This prevents some guidance such that when you start the Arduino code, you can see, right, like F50 puts the focus at 50%, F100 puts it at 100%, A2.5 puts aperture at 2.5, and so on. You can define the acceleration and speed of your focus and aperture motors. This runs the motors. We define the reading of the strings from the serial commands that you're going to be sending. This will print the values that we're going to, and then some warnings if you don't enter the end values. But basically you're gonna be entering the commands you want for focus and aperture, and this will either run from zero to 100% for focus based on the percentage you provide, or you will input a specific aperture number between 1.4 and 16 in increments of 0.1, and the motor will drive to that placement. So now let's go ahead and test. First enter aperture at 2.8. Let's try aperture at 5.6. Let's do aperture at 8. And then aperture 16. You get the idea. You can then go back to aperture of 1.4 and it should go back to 1.4. We can do the same with focus. So focus at 25%, 50%, and 100%. Similarly, we can take it back to zero. We're now on the Raspberry Pi and we're going to get ready to run a test with the HQ camera. Now this command will allow us to get a preview of the Raspberry Pi camera with no timeout, meaning it'll display indefinitely until you close it. The F will mean we'll show it in full screen. This part specifies the width and height in pixels at 1920 by 1080 and this defines the frame rate in frames per second. So so many images you see in each unit of time. All right, so we run the command and we're getting an image now that is pretty blurry. I'm going to go ahead and change the focus. I'm going to set it to 22%. This is already something that I pre-test. So I'll hit enter on Arduino IDE and we'll see the result. So you can see focus is moving and I have the recycling truck in focus. I'm going to now change the focus to 15. And now the ice cream truck is in focus and the recycling truck is out of focus. And I'm going to change the aperture to get both in focus. Now in this case I would have to change a little bit um, the overall brightness of the image, but you get the point. Now I change the aperture back to the original point, I get the ice cream truck. And that's pretty much it. I also went ahead and printed one of these for the official 6mm lens. Now, this one doesn't have the motors yet. This one I'm testing to set up with a robot that I'm working on a separate project. It will be compatible with the attachments for the tripod and the robot itself. So I'm really excited to test it. I actually built a 6-axis robot that I plan on using to control these cameras and get some pretty specific shots. Here I'm showing the one for the 6mm lens and I'm testing getting a few angles with lateral motion. I also made sure to test this with the full setup for the 60mm lens. However, some of the joints on the robot are not strong enough to hold the full setup. I'll have to upgrade this in the future. As a next step, I intend to upgrade some of the critical joints for the robot so that I can fully hold the camera setup that I developed for the 60mm lens. After that, I'll go ahead and test and see if I can get all the shots I want. That's it for this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. See you in the next one. Bye.